When most people think of dangerous creatures, they quite rightly think of animals such as bears, crocodilians and snakes. But really, most animals have the potential to be dangerous. Just because you're not an apex predator, it doesn't mean that you can't be deadly. And most animals that we come across day to day have the potential to be dangerous. Although the majority of the most dangerous animals on this planet are large, you don't need to be large to be deadly. Many of the world's deadliest creatures will take you down with their venom, and some will even take you down through disease. It's estimated that there were around 620,000 malaria-related deaths in 2022. And of course, the most common way of getting malaria is by getting bitten by a mosquito. Domesticated animals and livestock also have the potential to be dangerous, as around 22 people are killed by cows in the US each year, and around 120 people are killed each year by deer in the US alone. This is over 10 times how many people are killed by sharks globally each year, and just goes to show that you don't have to be a predator to be deadly. In this video I will be going through just a few creatures that are seen as gentle but have the potential to be dangerous, as I will be going through three harmless animals that have proven to be deadly. And for our first species we will be heading over to North America as we have the mountain goat. Now this mammal is endemic to the mountainous areas of western North America and is mostly seen as a subalpine to alpine species. Although this animal is called a goat, it's not closely related to other goats and has more in common with the Tarkins and the chamois. Like these species, the mountain goat is very sure-footed and does very well in mountainous areas. Mountain goats are herbivores and spend most of their time grazing and mostly feed on grasses, ferns and mosses. This diet helps them reach a pretty impressive size as male goats can stand up to a meter at the shoulder. This size and their power does keep them safe from some predators, but they are still targeted by large predators such as wolves, cougars and bears. Because the mountain goat is usually found in very remote areas, in most cases they don't have many interactions with humans. One of the few places in which mountain goats and humans meet is in Washington's Olympic Mountains. In this area, mountain goats are seen as a nuisance, and the reason behind this is quite strange. The mountain goats in the Olympic Mountains are often craving minerals, as they don't get all the minerals they need from their natural diet. Most mountain goats in other areas resort to salt licks, but this park is lacking these natural salt licks. This has meant that the mountain goats in the Olympic Mountains are targeting humans, and in particular they're targeting human sweat and urine. Human sweat and urine are full of minerals, and mountain goats are always looking to get some. In some cases, they will even dig up areas where people have urinated, and they will aggressively approach humans to get their fix. This of course leads to some conflicts, and this isn't helped by the way that most people view this animal. As I've already covered, even though it's not a goat, it's called a goat, and this makes most people think of the domesticated animal. The domesticated goat is not necessarily a dangerous animal even though it has the potential to be, but the mountain goat really is a completely different creature. Back in 2021, a mountain goat killed an attacking grizzly bear, and its horns had pierced the bear's armpits and neck. This just goes to show that the mountain goat is completely capable of protecting itself, and unfortunately it's also taken a human life too. Back in 2010, a hiker named Robert Boardman was killed by a mountain goat, and this was after it gored him in the leg. This was in the famous Olympic National Park where the goats had been pestering people, and the mountain goat that killed Robert was known for its aggressive behaviour. The wardens had already tried hazing the animal to make it scared of humans, but unfortunately this hadn't worked and eventually the animal was killed. Even though most people wouldn't name the mountain goat harmless, they're not seen as the most dangerous of creatures, but they do have the potential to be dangerous, and this was definitely the case with the mountain goat that killed Robert. Even after the goat attacked him, he stood over his body and had to be pelted with rocks before finally moving away. This just goes to show that the mountain goats aren't to be messed with, and if you do see a wild animal, it's best to leave it alone. But for our next species, we will be heading over to Europe and more specifically Belarus, as we will be taking a look at the Eurasian beaver. The Eurasian beaver is very similar to the North American beaver, and it has had a very complicated history with humans. It was almost hunted to extinction across Europe, and that's because its fur and its castorium were very valuable. It has been reintroduced into certain areas where it had been extinct, and luckily today it is making a comeback. Eurasian beavers are known as a keystone species, as they can have a massive impact on the environment in which they live in, and they can provide new habitats for a wide range of wildlife. In the UK, they're known to be beneficial for water voles, otters, dragonflies and amphibians, and they can even be beneficial for us humans. Beaver dams trap sediment and improve water quality, and they also reduce the risk of flooding downstream. Their structures also increase the cover for trout and salmon, 
and an increase in trout and salmon numbers is of course good news for fishermen. The Eurasian beaver is around the same size as the North American beaver and maxes out at around 35 kilograms. This makes them the world's second heaviest rodent after the capybara and also means they're an animal not to be messed with. Beavers famously have large incisors that never stop growing and this helps them to tear away bark and fell trees. These teeth, unsurprisingly, also come in very handy when it comes to self-defense, as they can inflict a very devastating bite. In most areas in which beavers are found, they are seen as harmless creatures, and for the most part this is completely true. If you see a beaver and leave it alone, you will have no problems, but if you pester or threaten a beaver, you might be on the receiving end of a nasty bite. This is exactly what happened to a 60-year-old fisherman in Belarus, as he tried to pick up a beaver to take a picture with it. He had spotted the beaver on the side of the road and stopped his car, and as he tried to grab the animal, it bit him in the leg. This severed a major artery in his leg, and eventually he bled out. In almost all cases, if you are bitten by a beaver, it will not be fatal, but because the beaver managed to hit an artery, the fisherman really stood little chance of survival. This just goes to show once again that wild animals are called wild for a reason, and even mostly peaceful animals can go on to be deadly. But for our final species, we can head to quite a few places in the Arctic Circle, as we have the muskox. This bovid is very well adapted to life in the Arctic, as it's known for having a very thick coat and strangely a very musky odour. This is how this animal got its name, and this musk helps males to attract females during the mating season. The life of a musk ox is very harsh and unforgiving, and even if they find enough food to eat, they are often pestered by large predators. Arctic wolves are known to be very fond of musk ox, but arguably one of their main predators is the brown bear. Whether they're found in North America or Eurasia, they are targeted by bears, and even though the musk ox is very stocky, it can be hard to fight them off. Musk ox don't regularly come into contact with humans, but they can do so in some remote Arctic communities. As I've covered, they can be found in quite a few areas across the Arctic, but one of these areas is Alaska. This is exactly where an attack occurred, and the attack was very recent. Just over a month ago on the 13th of December 2022, a man was killed by a musk ox near Nome, Alaska. The man was apparently at home when the attack happened, and he was on his snow machine trying to scare a group of musk ox away from his dog. Musk ox are known to go after dogs because of their relationship with wolves, and one of these musk ox attacked the man and gored him with its horns. This is a very rare and unfortunate incident, and in most cases, just like any other wild animal, the musk ox is mostly harmless if you leave it alone. If you know of any other incidents that could have made it on this list, then let me know down in the comments below. But thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed. If you liked it, please leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like these. But until next time, goodbye.